Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions and I'm here to solve your problem. If you have found this video, it's because you imported your contacts and picked something other than subscribed. So maybe you made all of your contacts non-subscribed or unsubscribed and you need to fix it and you can't figure out how. Today I'm going to give you, well, there are four different strategies that I use depending on how many contacts you're dealing with and how recently it happened. I will give you three of those strategies in this video, and I will have a separate video on the fourth strategy using Zapier to create an integration. I'm going to go through these strategies with you easiest to hardest. Um, either way, we'll be able to figure it out. Once I do answer your question, please give this video a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. I'm going to start by catching up to where you guys are and explaining what's going on here. So I'm going to import a list incorrectly so that we can do this together. There are different statuses in MailChimp. We know what subscribed is. That means they can get your email list and they chose to be on your email list. Unsubscribed means that they have unsubscribed. And non-subscribers are people who um, are on your list and cannot get your marketing emails. But for things like abandoned cart emails, or if you have e-commerce where they would get a purchase confirmation or shipping confirmation, those emails are called transactional emails, and they would be able to still receive those, but they can't receive your marketing emails. That's what a non-subscriber is. And as you've noticed, MailChimp will not allow you easily to switch them to subscribers. And that's because MailChimp is a platform based on having a list of people who have opted into your emails. So they don't want you like fake switching people over who didn't agree to be there. All right, so here I am with my list and under email marketing, they are called non-subscribers. Um, this is a newer version of the audience screen. It could be that in yours, this would be, be just blank if they're non-subscribers. And then if they were unsubscribed, they would be yellow, but subscribed would be green. And that's what we're hoping for. So as soon as you realize you've done an error on your import, you're gonna go to manage audience and then import history. It could be that this just solves your problem right here. Here we go in my import history, and I can undo my import. And there we go. So now any of the contacts you just added have been removed and you can re-import that list as subscribed and you're fixed. Just like that. Now, if that has solved your problem, please give this video some love and I will see you again later. If not, sometimes these undo buttons are blacked out here so you can't undo it. I will show you another way. Our next strategy, especially if you only have a few of these contacts that need to be fixed, is to add them in through a signup form. You can do that through an external signup form like one you have on your website. You also can do it right here. Add a singular subscriber. So I'm in contacts and add to contacts. So you just need to add their email address. And then I'm going to scroll down. You need to say that they gave you permission to send them emails. You need to say that you need to update them if they're already in the audience. This is for SMS texting, which does not apply here. And we're going to subscribe them. There we go, I got a nice green banner saying that it worked. And if I search for that email address, it is listed now as subscribed. So again, that works if you have just a few of them. Every once in a while, I'll have this form time out. Like they don't want you using it for so many individual emails. In which case, if you go to sign up forms over here and form builder, this is an external sign up form. You can take this URL and then put it in your browser. There we go. And this is an external sign up form. So you can do it here as well. Our next strategy, especially if you are brand new to MailChimp and haven't done much in here, is to kind of abandon this audience and start fresh. Uh, to do that, you would export your audience. I have a little button over here for export. You may have a larger button that says export your audience. That will download the file of all of your contacts. And then you will head over here to audience dashboard, manage audience, view audiences, and this is where you can create a new audience. If you're on the free plan, it only allows you one audience at a time. So it's a bit of a conundrum. Maybe you pay for a month or maybe you do the 30 day trial for a paid program. We're going to create the audience. You will fill out all of the new default information for your audience. 
you'll find when you look at the file that you exported from the previous audience that there will be several different files within that folder. One will have subscribed contacts, one will have non-subscribed contacts, one will have unsubscribed contacts, and you know where you made your mistakes. So you will, of course, import the subscribed ones as subscribed, but then you'll import whichever one was incorrect as subscribed also. Now, my final strategy will be to use a platform called Zapier to create an integration that will send your whole list into MailChimp as subscribed. So if you have a lot that need fixing, this is how you'll do it. That is a more extensive process, so I'm giving it its own video. If you want to check that out, I will link it here and there, and I'll see you around.